So there's nine energy numbers. Now, based on your year of birth and your gender, you will find out your direction. But there is something else. That is, for the rest of your life, you have that number. But every year, there's a change of energy. And every energy number has a color or a symbol for 2019 to put in their success direction, to activate it extra, to have more abundance coming forward. Yeah? Now, this information is in your workbook, but you can take pictures, of course. Yeah? So the people that have energy number one, they are called the wealth creators. Yes. yes. Now, it doesn't mean they just easily create wealth. It's mostly that they have to learn the most lessons about wealth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so your success direction is southeast. Yeah. Now, this year, your color, because I work with quantum physics and 24 colors that really activate you, this year, your keyword is clarity. You need to focus on being clear in your life, setting your goals, living by your goals, and using the color aqua blue. So, just wearing something in that color once in a while, and even putting something in aqua blue, or like a symbol of still water in the southeast, will bring your energy up for this year. Create more success and money. People that have energy number two, or also the ones that are number five and are men, they're called the teachers. They are here to share their wisdom, but before they share their wisdom, they are like wisdom collectors. They are the readers. They just want to know everything there is in the world. Jack Canfield, for example, is a number two, right? So he has written, you know, so many books. So it's not just reading it, but also sharing it, yeah? So success direction is northeast. Your color is ivory white, like a, an off-white. And your keyword is transparency. You be, need to be transparent in your structure, in what you want to bring. Don't be confused. Be very clear on everything. And the little symbol is wind chime. Energy number three are bringers of light. They are entertainers. They just want to be in the spotlight. Yeah. They sometimes can be quite um, shy in normal life, but when the moment the light is on, they're like Phew, out there, right? They love to bring, you know, the energy up. So their success direction is south, and their color is ruby red, like a warm red. And their keyword for this year is about balance. Don't go too high, don't go too low. Always balance your life. Enough sleep, enough workouts. And the simple is a laughing Buddha or anything that makes you laugh. The energy number four are the managers. The managers are the ones that have like an idea and they are so good strategically to fulfill that idea and to manifest it. So they love to help others also to really create businesses. Their color is cobalt blue. The word for them is empowerment. So by using these words, you will actually attract more success and abundance. And the symbol for them is a bamboo. The energy number five for men, I already shared, was a teacher. Yeah. For energy number five, for the women, I come back when we talk about energy number eight, because it's the same. Energy number six are the creators. The creators are the ones that like have ideas outside of the box. And others will say, this is not possible. And they were like, yeah, I'll find a way. Now think about, they're also connecting with uh, technology, IT, and think about the West Coast of America, yeah? What happens in the west coast of America, you have Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley could never been on the east coast. It's not possible because the creative forces are stronger on the west coast. That's why we're in California, right? So the color is Irish blue and the keyword is focus. So IT people need to really focus this year and everyone has number six. And the activator is a bubbling fountain. Never put a bubbling fountain in your bedroom. Yeah, it's too active. Always put it in the west of your office. Yeah? 
The seven are advisors. They are the ones that just, people come and want advice from them. They know so much. And there are the, you know, really a lot of healers have that, or a lot of people that are coaches, they actually connect with that. So the color for that is the diamond. Me. <laughs> Their keyword is fate. So they need to trust themselves a little bit more this year. And the symbol is an amethyst. And energy number eights are the female fives. They are the connectors. They just love connecting with people. They are really good in putting the puzzle pieces together. Like I have an, an eight, and I, one of the things I love to do, I love creating romance for people. That's why I'm in the secret talking about romance. I just love people to connect and be friends. Yeah. And that's why, you know, I love to connect with you. So if you afterwards or today want to have a hug with me or a picture with me, please come to my stand on outside because I love connecting with you. Okay? So your color is an opal and transformation is your keyword for this year. And again, you need to hang a little wind chime in the southwest. And the energy number nine, the healers. The healers this year, they have the golden luck on them. Yeah. This is a year where a lot of healing will happen in the world, by the way. Yeah? After a few years of a lot of um, imbalance and division, this will be a year of healing. So abundance is your keyword, and putting golden items in the East, or for you, for example, the East, yeah, or wearing something gold will be really successful. Now, there are abundant spots that work for everyone. So this is definitely something to do for everyone. If you want more cash flow this year, in 2019, who wants more cash flow? <laughs> of course, we all want. Then get yourself a bubbling fountain. Not a big one, just a small bubbling fountain. And put it in the west of your office or the west of your living room. Not in your bedroom. And if your bedroom and office is one place, unplug it when you go to sleep. So what does it do? Well, the West this year has new beginnings on it. Everything with IT, everything with technology, everything with creativity will actually start a new cycle of nine years. So I'm really happy that we came to LA because this is the West Coast, and that means also for Mind Valley Reunion, there will be a new flow of energy coming in. But make sure that happens to each one of you. Yeah? So this is for 2019. And remember, we work in Feng Shui with the Chinese New Year, so it's actually till February 2020. Yeah? And when you do the Feng Shui for life, you will see then you will always get the updates for every year where to put your fountain. Okay? Now, if you want like amazing windfalls, like your investments are working, like out of the blue, like gold drops down, right? So that is the East. That means that this year, everything coming from the East will be bringing golden luck. But also mean countries in the East will bring a lot of golden luck. And as the East stands for everything with healing, it will be a year of a lot of healing. Yeah? And I think we all could use some of that, yeah? In many countries. So place something in gold, or like a bowl of golden coins, and it can be fake coins, it can be even chocolate coins, that's all good, right? But not paper money, yeah? And you find like a bowl and you fill that with coins, and it can be quarters, but then make sure that the bowl itself is kind of a gold-looking bowl, yeah? And then you can also activate the center. The center of your house this year has the lucky eight on it. And the color for this year for long-term wealth is peach. If you don't know what peach looks like, I have it on, right? There's a reason for my outfits, by the way, yeah? So make sure that you clear out the center of your home. Don't put any images up there that are violent or feeling images of being stuck. So put there an image of your family because your center has the family luck. 
but also put a beautiful crystal there. And not like a small crystal, but like a handful crystal, like a quartz crystal or an amethyst and a color peach. Now, this is really important. Whatever is in the center is always what happens in the world. And so this is a year where we have to make a decision to let go of the fear and to go into joy. Because the last years, in the uh, fire rooster year and the um, earth dog year, the Chinese astrology signs, there was a lot of fear. And we're coming now in the earth pig year. And the earth pig year is like the muddy pig. So the pig is like rolling in the mud. I'm like, oh, I have fun with my friends. So this is a time to really connect in with your friends and family and take time to enjoy each other. And each decision you make this year, really go within yourself and say, is this a decision out of fear? Or is it a decision that makes me joyful? If the decision, whatever direction you want to go, makes you fearful, don't go there. This is a year that we can't have that. We really need to focus on joy. And I, I would say definitely Mind Valley, right, is about joy.